gentlemen. Good afternoon.
This is a public hearing that we don't often do here, but it is not the first time. We did one last week, and almost uh, about eight years ago, we actually did a different one down at the War Memorial Building um, on the, the issue of uncharged arrests. Some, like myself, call them illegal arrests. And that is one incident where we saw that we had a victory because we got legislation, well, not a whole victory, but we did, we were able to parlay that momentum into legislation and an effort to attempt to address that issue. But I want to say that this is the way that the structure is going to be today. Um, that we, everyone that will make a statement or come up and testify will have three minutes. And that we'll try to stick as close to that as possible. We understand that it takes more time than just that to speak on these issues. But again, this is the first step, it's not the last step. Um, we will, at the end of the panels, take questions from the audience. At the end of the first three panels, and I'll explain why the first panel, um, I believe, will be utilized to frame the issues. Because we're looking toward legislation, and each issue, there's a legislative component to it, and I'll call a panel, not because they're more important than anyone else in the room, but either they have expertise on those issues, or we know that they will be the advocates or the leaders in Annapolis to help champion those causes and work with all of you and work with us to get that done. The second panel, I'm going to ask if you are a family member of, or if you are a victim of a negative encounter from everywhere from police brutality or excessive force of the police, or if you um, have had a personal experience that needs to be addressed here to come up. But it may not be everyone, but it will be the ones that are on the sign-up sheet first. Then the third panel, we will hear from law enforcement. And then after that, it's fair game. Everyone that's still here um, can testify, but before that we're going to take questions from the audience of anyone in the panel. Um, when, you, when you have a question to submit, you can stand up at the microphone and ask a question. We're going to try to limit the questions to one minute and the responses to two minutes. We are going to attempt to hear from you. So if there's just a burning, burning question that you are concerned won't get asked, perhaps you could submit it to Mara Douglas or to Mel Brown, who should be around, to have us ask it to make sure that it gets addressed. Um, I also just want to say thank you to Nellie Kurt Anderson, who is the chair of our delegation that um, is responsible for have our ability to be able to do this today, and Kamara Douglas and Jamela Brown, our staff. Jamela Brown is my legislative aide, and Kamara Douglas is the um, chief of staff for the Baltimore delegation. They are important to all of you because as you want dates and scheduling and meetings and information between now and January, even through the session, those are the points of contact that you go to. Also, if you have questions or testimony that you want to submit, please do so through them and they will, they will spread it out to all of us. Um, I have a written statement that I prepared because in the interest of time, I didn't want to take too much time. But I will just briefly say that today we're here to look at policing practices as a whole. We are not here to talk about only one piece of legislation because, or one, one aspect of it, because we believe that it's time to have a dialogue about comprehensive change in the way that we, we, we deal with policing. Um, and so, that being said, I want to get started with our first panel. And there is a reason, a method to the madness, for why these people are being called first, because I believe, again, they will properly frame the issues for all of us today. So, with that being said, I'm going to call Sergeant Lou Hopson, Attorney A. Dwight Pettit, Dr. Marvin Cheatham, Marvin Doc Cheatham. While I don't see her on the list, Sarah Love from the ACLU. And I think that we can have six at a time, so three on each side. So let's go. Um, attorney Russell Neverdog. Well, if Mr. Chamberlain comes in, we'll... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So, 
tomorrow from the ACLU is not